Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I watched a great movie. What? Well, I can't tell you until we're on the air. Why? Because it's a movie review. No, we haven't done a movie. We've well, done. I have. I watched a movie. So I'll do a review. Have you reviewed it? Well, I watched it so I can review it. Have you written anything down? It's all in my brain. I think we've started. <laughs> all right. I think we've started. Give us the review then. I watched... Hang on. Oh, perfect. Doesn't What's it called? I can remember the name. What's it called? The Murder on the Oriental Express. The Murder on the Orient Express. Yes. Have you seen it? Not the Oriental Express. It's a fantastic film. Yeah, I have seen it. Have you seen it? Yeah. Well, let's do this as a joint review. I haven't seen Well, no, you, you, I haven't seen it for a while, so you Well, I don't want to give it no, no, away no. You, too much. You said that it was all in your brain, Louisa. Okay, so You said I the review watched, was all in your brain. I watched the, or, move, the, tra- the Murder on the Orient Express. Yep. Could you get up a vigil for me, Willie, just so it could trigger my brain again? Watch, no, no, you said it was all in your head. Watched it on Friday night, and my golly, goodness gracious. You said it was all in your head. It's in my brain. So do the review. Great, nothing up, nothing up. Great cast. So it's about... Who, name the cast. So there's no, Johnny, no, no, get that down. There's Johnny Depp. Yeah, it's like you've just seen a big photo of Johnny Depp. There's Johnny Depp. Who else? There's another phenomenal actor who's... N- name. I can't remember his Sex? name. But he's he, a male. Him. Okay. And he so is we've Johnny, the, we've got Johnny Depp and another male actor. He's the detective. Who else? He's the detective. Who else? Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz, great. Johnny Depp, male actor, Penelope Cruz. Hell of a review so far. Is the Enticing stuff. Then there's another couple of good actors that you wouldn't you'd, know names, but you'd know faces. Gotcha. We've got Johnny Depp. Yep. We've got another male actor. Yes. We've got Penelope Cruz and a couple of other actors. That you wouldn't Great. know names, yep. but you'd know faces. Thank you for running through the cast. So the whole movie is <laughs> set on a train. Would you believe it from the name? What's the train called? The Orient Express. Oh, she's good, the kid. And did you know it goes from... Fuck, where does it... I think it goes from... Somewhere to Milan. And they're all on the <laughs> Orient Express because they've got to get there for, by a certain date. Yep. But you know it's real. You can actually go on that train now. Yes. We should do that. I would love to. Let's do that. But no, fuck, have, fuck I, that. I, Run through the review of the movie. I'm not going to give it away too much. So basically it, it's in the title. Just so review it. There's a murder on the train, Jack. Which train? On the Orient Express. Okay, so the car. So there's Michelle, F- Judy Dench. That's the bugger. Kenneth Branagh, Josh Judy Gad, Dench, Johnny Depp, Daisy Tom Ridley, Bateman, Michelle Pfeiffer, Penelope Cruz, Leslie o- Odom Jr., Sergi Pollyan, Willem Dafoe. Couldn't remember any of them, huh? All A-list stars. Cool. Uh, so, and run us through the basic synopsis of it. So there's a murder on the train. Jack. You've said that forty fucking and, times. And they're all obviously suspects. It's a murder mystery. It's pretty much Cluedo in a movie. And I would give it, honestly, <laughs> it, I would give it 9 out of 10. No, no, no. Run us through why. Because it was phenomenal acting. It, I was engrossed the entire time. I didn't want to pick up my phone and scroll TikTok. Mm-hmm. I wanted to watch the train go from... Sorry, are you watching something on your phone, no, are No, I just want to see how right you are. I'm looking up Murder yes. on the Orient Express. I want to see... It, it, the fact that it's all in a train for two and a half hours wasn't bored one second. You're for, joking. For, for three different shots of scenes, yep. fantastic. And I love when things all loop up and everyone's intertwined and then the end is just a, oh, my good God. No. Yeah. And who's the main detective? What's his name? Guy who's well known but you... No, no, the, no his name, in the, his character. <coughs> is it Henrik? Henrich? I, I don't Detective, know. You. Detective Henrich Ozoha. You're doing the um the review, but so I'm just wondering. Yeah, he's the he's the detective. Right, let's have a look. Okay. Is it Heinrich? <laughs> or Henrik? What was his name? You uh, seem it, to have seen it. Yeah, yeah I have, but no, so but what I'm was re- his but name? I've got it up here now. Because I've I've seen it a long time ago. Kenneth. Is the actor. Kenneth no. Bragan. No. Was the actor. Not Bragan. Now. Brogan. Branner. Branner. Now, and, and Hercules. You. Pollard. <laughs> <laughs> Poirot, is it? Poirot? Poirot? I am Hercules Poirot. Poirot? And I am the greatest Poirot? detective of the world. And who? That's what he says. Fuck, who was it that wrote these wonder, wonderful murder mysteries? The man who made Cluedo. Same guy. The man. Don't show her. Don't show her. 2017 Mystery and Crime. No, no, no. Who wrote the minutes. original book? 
J.K. Rowling. Also, J.K. Rowling. Yeah. It was uh, before. She wrote, I think she believes she wrote The Murder on the Nile as well or something like that. Well, that should be made into a movie. It has been. Bullshit. The sequel. Are you dead set, says? Uh, because. Dead set, says. Because TDD, I go, oh, so they've ended it so that there's another movie to watch. And he goes, no, nah, I don't think there is. Murder on the Nile. Give that up for me for a moment, Willie, because you know who's reviewing Agatha that Agatha Christie. You know who's reviewing Agatha that Agatha Christie next was week? the author. You know who's reviewing that next week? Not fucking you. Me. Not you. Henry One of the Pollard. worst reviews I've ever heard. Disagree. Dude, you didn't know any of the cast. You didn't know the names of the characters. You've given zero plot points. Well. You've just told us that it was on a murder on a train 40 times. Jack. You didn't know the original author. This is a new. You knew nothing. This is a new segment. You're like that fat Nazi from Hogan Heroes. Ain't not nothing. Now that's, that's aged me. Uh, that has definitely aged me. That's not. One the kids are going to get. <laughs> Hogan's Hero is one of the greatest shows of all time. Um, you know nothing. It, like that fat fucking Nazi, you know nothing. Oh, my God. You know what I'm watching tonight? Death on the Nile, that's it. Death on the Nile. Hold that up, Willie. I must take a doth a screenshot of that. Thank you. Death well, on the Nile. Also a tremendous flick. I would say... Stars Army Hammer. Not doing too well, old Army. Why don't you do the next review? Good point. Should I watch Death on the Nile this week? Can we watch it together? So I'm up to date? No, because I'm doing the review. But Maybe I do it a little bit polished. We should think of some, some subcategories to be interested in, like how's, how's it shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, well, I could go back to Murder on, no, the, no, no, Murder on the Orient Express. No. Great cinematography. No, see, Louisa, your review's done. All right, your review's done. I love how this camera just panned a lot of the time. Just panned around the train. The cinematography just panned around. It just panned around the train. And you just got engrossed in the train because it was a lot of panning, Jack. Similar to a, a panda looking around his cage. <laughs> you've got it. You've got to at some point go and fuck yourself. It's late. It's not. It is. It is. Just past midday. If I was over the other side of the world, it'd be the middle of the night. But you're not. So it's late. You're not, kid. Well, stay so lovely. Time is subjective. Shock and <laughs> review. It's abs- It's absolutely not. Can I? Can I? Can I move on from one of the worst movie reviews of all time? Would, would anyone care, Willie? Would you care? No, I think we can probably move. You on. think we can move yeah. on from that? I think pile Willie of hot dog shit. I think Willie probably wants to know a little bit more about the film. I think he does, but you are not the one to provide it to him. Disagree. You get that cast back up, I could tell you a bit more no, about, you don't the, need. about the costumes. was the other thing I loved. Judy Dent, she was great. Probably my favourite. She was evil. Stop looking at me like that. Go to sleep. Finally. It is, I mean, what? Wait, do not wake up until your owner tells you to. And I am your owner. And, but was that just a little taste of what you'd get if I was to die tomorrow, today, or Lou was to boot me off the podcast? That's the sort of brilliance you'd be getting every single week, twice a week, mind you. You get that. Four times now if you sign up to Patreon. It's not. Well, it technically, it's two, but technically four. It's 0.7 of a basketball. Would you like to do some hingy wingies? Get them, get them up. Guys, it's very exciting. Patreon is coming. The Super Soaking Senior Readers is what you'll be called. It's extended episodes. So you got your standard two a week, and you'll get the extended episodes if you sign up to Patreon. How much is it, Jarchi? Well, it's $2.50 a week, Lulu, to that's, be a Super Soaking Senior Reader. That's nothing. So $2.50 a week uh, as a Super Soaking Senior Reader, you get the extended apps, you get bonus content, you get a discount on merch, and early access to live shows. Um, you're also going to get... Well, one lucky super soaking senorita, depends on how you define luck, will get a video from uh, Lou and I every week. Yep. Uh, and we're just excited about it, mate. Bit of extra content means we get to be in the studio a little bit longer. Yep. You get to enjoy a little bit more content if you want it. If not, nothing else changes. You can still you enjoy everything lips. as per normal. But, but for $2.50 jump a week. On that extra Connie. Yeah, mummy just shortened the word content to Connie, but didn't shorten it because it's still two syllables. Patreon coming soon. 
Rock and roll sisters, sisters or super soaking senoritas. Sorry. It's back. Hingy wingy no. So now that the hingy wingies is back. Is that spelling trouble in paradise? No. <laughs> TDD is well and truly still around. No, no, I'm just checking. Mama found a loophole in how to get hingy wingies. Okay. It's called TikTok or bed where it's sending them in. Gotcha. Love it. Or Google. I've missed these. Fuck, this is my favourite fucking segment. Or, or um, Cringe Hinge Boys on Instagram. Yeah. So check them out. Some of my favourite content as well because I love to hate shit. You do. <laughs> okay. Hit me. This one said, teach me something about. Thank you, Lord, for a wonderful day you've given to me. In Jesus' name, amen. Teach me something about. About Jesus. what? Crucifixion. He hasn't elaborated enough for us to know what. Okay. I think maybe crucifixion. So basically they nail people to crosses, break their ribs, break their legs. Um, they'd also put a spear up into their ribs, into their into their uh, abdomen, or into their any, heart. I don't want to know anymore. That sounds very gruesome. Could you could you DM him yourself? So we can just so I can let him know? Yes. Dude, apparently it was really it was like Going to the footy on a Saturday back in those times, back in the Roman times. Like, they'd just go, like, dude, let's go fucking get crucified. And they're like, fuck yeah, boys. Woo! And they'd all get pissed. Chug fucking uh, tins of piss and then they'd all get nailed to crosses and stuff. And it was like a fun day out. Sunday fun day. <laughs> People were crazy, man. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> Okay, this guy yeah, said... That's the sort of stuff you'd get if Lou doesn't... If I was doing the podcast by myself, so... Yeah, I no, think no, Not much better. I think it's probably best that we're here together. Forever. And, 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 and I will love you forever. forever. Okay, next together. one. I wish... I can park. Okay, this guy said you should not go out with me if... She's lost her touch, the kid. <laughs> She's not happy. <laughs> Nothing like dead air for the yeah. thing. <laughs> Kids done her prep. Sorry, guys, we've just had to cut 350 times because Lou just hasn't done her prep. Shut up. And it's really killing us. Okay, this better fucking work. Breathe and believe. You should not go out with me if. Did <laughs> we just wait for him? <laughs> so whiffy. <laughs> And then this guy said, let's make I sure we're on the same. I tell you to tell him to. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you can't. I, I can't. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this guy has said, let's make sure we're on the same page about. I don't want to vent my frustrations with you, but it's never that simple for me. I want to know that no matter what is said or done between us, or in what odds or circumstances we could find ourselves in, I want to know that everything we do is for an unquestioned commitment between us. If you can't give me that, I want to begin everything with you. Can what? I? What? I've got a theory. He if, runs a cult? If he was born, say, in 18... The 1850s in the Old West, there'd be like a series of, of murders of prostitutes in each camp. Like in each settlement. No, wh and, where and, does your brain go? And he's the type of guy that would be committing those crimes. Stop looking at Willie for reassurance <laughs> on what you're saying. That's a Jack the Ripper story. You're that's like a Jack the Ripper. Ch ch little that's, children. If he was in Victorian England, that's Jack the Ripper. Did he sound like Peggy Blinders or was that just me? No, I think nah, he was like Dutch or something. It was just creepy. It was Dutch. Very off-putting. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you know who should have been off-putting? Eight-year-old Lou. <laughs> That's actually a joke from uh, In Between Two Ferns. Oh, so what's her name? Jennifer. That. What's her name? That fucking Jennifer. Jennifer Lawrence. Lawrence. Great stuff from her. She's great in Hunger Games. She's also tremendously attractive. Okay, this person has said, <laughs> "Are you a cat person?" Because. Are you a cat person? Because I'm trying to be mommy's frisky little kitten. <laughs> oh. Trying to be. Trying to be. <laughs> I'm 
Are you? <laughs> Me uh, now. Now, who's mummy in that situation? Well, I believe that he's after a mummy. Yeah, you're mummy, by the way. I'm not a cat girl. I'm a dog girl. I'm a Toby Corgi girl. I don't even think you're much of a dog girl. I was at one stage. Now I feel like I'm just a corgi girl. I or you were la- terrified of Kobe. Or yeah, not not big woofers like that. I like Labradors, Golden Retrievers, and Tobies. Big co- Kobe's scary to Lulu. Big. Woofers. He's such a sweet. He's a. I know, but they're just. But you got to get to know them. You know, like if I was around him a bit more, sure. I think a lot of people are like that. What scared of B- bigger dogs? Bigger dogs are what I need. I fucking hate yappy little fucks. I don't like little littles. Smallest would be Toby's. Especially dogs like yours and mine, dude. Pit bulls or yeah, that kind of ill. Bruh. People are terrified regardless. Correct. I love little chili. If only they knew how friendly Chili Bear was. But th- that's what I mean. You see them from far away and you'd obviously be a bit scared until you get to know them. Lulu, you came over to my house upwards of 16 times. Kobe was there every time and he, you, never, you never once took to him. Uh, you were always I don't a little. I think I was all right with him by no, the no, end. No, you'd go like this. There was a time there, that go, Steph hup, said to hup. me, "Go get something from your house," and I said, "Is anyone home?" And she said, "Just Kobe." I said, nah, "You guys can have it." Yeah, he'd lick you to death. I know, but it, when you're not used to big dogs, sometimes it's a bit scary. How right? are you not used to big dogs when you do the podcast with me and Willie every single fucking week? <laughs> oh, sickos. <laughs> Okay, last one because this segment is fucking done, bro. You have. Cooked it, but, but you've brought but it, it back in the, the end. But the problem is, is that it's actually not. It's the whiff. I know. It's not and your, now I'm on no. the five. And now I'm on the five G. It's working a bit better. No, no, it, it's not your fault. It's just it's been tremendous to see how poorly it, it's gone. It's just it's been quite funny to see. You well, break. it's been quite frustrating it, it, for me. You broke, dude. Like there'll be a few claps in there that he'll have to cut out. <laughs> you broke. You broke. I'm still broken. I, I know. It's to, frustrating it, to the point that your voice changed. You went like this. You went. I just, I'm not sure. It was like, you I'm lost, still annoyed. You lost who you were. I'm still, I'm still feeling that. All right, give Willie a kiss. Nope, no kisses. Okay, last one. <laughs> this is my favourite line from a movie. Please fuck up. The queen will take me. Then you're free to check the king. No, Ron, no. What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't. There must be another way. Do you want to stop Snape from getting that stone or not? Hurry, it's you that has to go on. I know it. Not me, not Hermione. Yo. I'm happy with that as the end. Overplayed. Nah. That, that card's been overplayed, I'm sorry. I love that one. I know, but every single cunt on TikTok has done it. I know. It's and overplayed, on Hinge. Man. It's own, and on Hinge. Everyone's doing that. Yeah, it's just, for me, it's overplayed. Well, then, for everyone, it's got to be overplayed. It's lost its originality. <laughs> because you would know best. You have, a, you have a darkness to you after that segment. You've got a darkness in your eyes. You know what's even darker? A piece of chewing gum under your shoe. Oh, there is some chewy under that there. That is very old and yuck. That's seen some stuff. Well, that would have been, uh, yeah. That would have been the last time I saw it there. Yeah, that would have been. you obviously worn the boots in. I have. I wear them every day. It's hence why the chewy's gone all dirty and it's not green spearmint. Well, it was a green spearmint chewing gum. You're dead right now. It is more of a black blob of shit. How much would I have to pay you to eat that? Fuck. $500. Done. Are you fair dinkum? I'm fair dink. You'll pay The me whole <laughs> thing in your mouth, you've got to chew it for at least a minute. A minute? Yep. Shake it. $500. $500. You swear to God. I swear to God. For a whole minute, you're chewing that. It's got Get sticks. a shake on it before. It's got sticks and shit in it. Get a shake on it before it happens. 500 bucks. $500. This is fucking disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. You are a sick pig. Do you need $500 that bad? You'll build your immune system. <laughs> the timer on. I'll be gone for 20 seconds. The time, I'll, okay. If, uh, this is fucked. Yuck. I know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can see the bits out of wood in it. Uh, I know. Does it taste horrendous? Uh-huh. You've been going for probably 20 seconds now. I'll go for 30. 50 seconds. I'll go for 30. No, you got to go to another 50 seconds. Yuck, you are 
despicable. Oh, man, fuck it. I'm in it now. It's 500 bucks, mate. <laughs> you know, someone had a big weekend. This is fucked. Oh, this is foul. Yeah, what does it taste like? Just dirt? Other people's urine. Uh, <laughs> yuck, yes, you would have been working along and pissed. Uh, There's probably shit on that. Uh, there could literally be a dog shit. Uh-huh. you got 10 more seconds. Yeah, uh, baby. Bring me that far, baby. You are disgusting. <laughs> uh, oh, anyway. done. <sighs> what did we just witness? It might be the most disgusting thing I've ever seen firsthand. I, I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> For five hundred dollars, there'd be piss on that. There'd be dog, almost, almost certainly dog, human. Ugh. There'd be Ugh. hair. Oh, there'd be sick. fucking. Oh, I feel fucking. Thing, you know, fingernails, Ugh. burgies, and all, everything you find on the sidewalk. You are the most disgusting <laughs> human. But oh god, now he's going to throw up. He's. I'm, I am. I feel a little bit you sick in my in tummy. <laughs> yeah, I did spit the was that worth? Was that worth it for the five hundred dollars? Because you've probably got some 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 cat piss, some dog piss. Can I be honest? <clears throat> mm-hmm. I feel now what I can only assume any female has felt post fornication with me. I feel immense shame. <laughs> I feel immense shame. I'm not proud of myself. I'm actually, I'm. A, I, I, can I be honest? I'm a little bit disappointed you did that. Like I really thought you would have just gone fuck off, Lou. You should. You actually should feel a bit. I do, I feel ashamed. And you literally, you took the first offer. Like there was yeah. no bartering or anything. You just went, yeah, fuck it. I did. I didn't negotiate terms. And we didn't even shake on it. We did. Damn it. We did. No, don't you worry. That, that I'll be giving you your five hundred dollars. Can I put it on a payment plan? No, you can cannot. we do this in no, You you can pay me in. Can you pay me in cold hard cash? Yes. Next episode, I will pay you in cold hard cash. I will go to the bank and I will get out as many notes as five hundred dollars will make. It's very well articulated. I you think, uh, are disgusting. I think the less I have to think about that, the less shame I feel. That's okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I do to all of my emotions. I'm going to suppress them. Good. I'm going to suppress that. You know what will make you feel better? A game of categories. Because it will lighten the mood. So, list number three, and yep. your letter is... Sorry, I've got to stop chewing. Your letter is C. All right. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Pens down. Fuck. <laughs> that was a tough one. That was actually a little bit tough. I'm not too happy with myself there. Yeah, me either. I've got a lot of animals. Okay. Not me personally, I mean my answers. <laughs> okay, yeah, we we understood it. I should get a fish though. Okay. <laughs> you don't eat it. You fish for compliments I think all you're day. You're jumping ahead here a bit, Lou. All right, number one, flowers. Cordelias. Don't think that that's not a flower. I think it is. Cordelia. I think it is. I'm sure Jill used to have Cordelia's in her garden. It so, is indeed. Yep, there we go. Fucking Jackpot. I got nothing. Well. Cordelia. Fucking idiot. Fucking Cordelia, idiot. you're breaking my garden with how beautiful you look. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Cordelia. Okay. Things that sparkle. Crystals. Candles. Have you ever seen a sparkly candle? Yeah. Sparklers are sparkling candles. They flicker. Flicker So if if you can consider a flicker a sparkle. Oh, well, sure, Cora, you two are on the same team. (laughs) No, I'm asking asking (laughs) Um, the team. Yeah, candles definitely sparkle. But now that you said that, sassily, Lou, I'm going to give it to him. Mm, Thank Thank you. you. Thank you, Willapodia. Types of cereal. Captain Crunch. Cocoa Pops. Nice. I don't think I've ever had Captain Crunch. It's very American, isn't it? Yeah, it it is very American. Items you save up to buy. Cars. Cock ring. Well, some people might not be able to afford one. A cock ring. What did a cock ring cost you? Twenty dollars. Uh-huh. Who's to you? Who's who's for you to say that people don't save up for them? Fair. Cock rings are subjective. They're not. No, they are. Fuck. Is cock that the episode name? Cock rings are subjective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherworldly. Uh, Keller Brimbor. What's that? He's a famous um, 
blacksmith uh, elf in Lord of the Rings. Can I get a spelling on that? C E L E B R I M B O R, I believe. Celebrimbo. I'm just thinking of the little one with long orange hair. That is correct. Thank you. Good. Shall we on Google? Oh, look. Kill a motherfucking Brimble, bitch. Wow. Yeah, daddy don't play no shit. That also might be the uncoolest thing you've said on this whole show. <laughs> I put psych. Um, he's an ancient elf. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's actually an ancient yeah. elf. He's not the Daddy one. Daddy don't play no shit. He's a blacksmith. <laughs> I actually said that cool, like Daddy don't play no shit. Yeah, but from what you were saying, it doesn't really make it that. Yeah, cool, I was trying it? to hide it, fucking nerd. You're in, you're both nerds, so get over it. Yeah, Cypress. What did you mean a cyclops, buddy? No. Nope. Or did you mean Cypress? Cypress, otherworldly. It's in this world. Not in the movie that I watched. Right. You don't get it. What movie? <laughs> what that was the movie? That movie was called War of the Cypress. Okay. <laughs> you got to... And it was... You've got to go to bed, bud. It was an avatar. Right. Land. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine, I'll cross it out just Thank this you. once. Thank you. Things that are scary. Cats. Crocodiles. Cats. You ever seen a fucking Siberian tiger? Oh, yes. You're right. TV shows from before you were born. Cheers for asking that question. Um, I didn't get one. Catman. Cheers. I got you. Did you say Catman? <laughs> yes. Oh, did you fucking dare? Have you not seen Catman? <laughs> Run us through it. Catman is a man who was once a carpenter and he <laughs> then found his love for cats <laughs> and he went out to the wilderness and started hugging the lions, and then they became his family. Catman. So, Doesn't yeah. actually sound that bad. It sounds pretty bad. It sounds a bit ominous. I don't mind it. Out there. Was he Picture, just hugging the lions? Picture to Paramount Plus. Well, there is a, a, a DC comic called Catman. There we go. That's but there's no... So was it a TV show from oh, before you were born? No, a TV was, show before you were born. I was thinking of the, ca- the, the, the magazine. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, Shit. gotcha. Found in the woods. Chimps. Chimpanzees. I found in the woods. What woods? Any woods around the world. I'd argue they're more of a jungle creature. I wouldn't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I know. But I mean... There is a picture here where they do just look like they're in some... Woods. Fuck it, yeah. What's the fucking difference? The jungle is the woods. Not really, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah, a lot fuck. of that says it looks like the woods. You can have a kid. They're cute little fuckers. Yeah, till they rip your fucking face off. That, that too. Reasons for sending a card. Christmas. Cunt behaviour. So? I feel like we've had this before. Have we? With C. May, mm-hmm. I don't know, maybe not with C. I think it's just what I do often. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But would you send a card for something? Yeah. For cunt behaviour. No. I, I feel like we had this uh, a while ago and you said, fuck boy. That's oh. What is wrong with you? Yeah, nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> what? Nothing you, at all. You don't get that. Well, I'm going to send you Hey, the why'd card. you send me the card? Oh, I just can't behave. I'm, I'm actually going to send you one after this podcast. I don't think you celebrate that though, right? You're going to you, get a postcard from me. And it's going to say, behavior. you have been giving me cunt behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> Things you can do in five minutes or less. Cheer. Chop. Yep. Plenty of different ways you could use the word chop, if you know what I mean. You're talking about chopping up uh, marijuana, drugs, illicit. Yeah, or the you, other. There's another a sick thing. Fight. Chong, as in chong on. Oh, I should have said chong. Mm. Well, you didn't. I also except uh, f- that wouldn't apply to me. <laughs> if we we're talking about chong and on, I'd be like 28 minutes every average. So places in your hometown. <laughs> Car wash. Charlie's Meats. <sighs> Look up Charlie's Meats, Palmerston North. No, just go Charlie's Meets New Zealand because I lived in a lot of different places. Palmerston North is your Charlie's hometown. Hometown. There's a, there's a meat shop, isn't there, called Charlie's Meats? <laughs> Franco loved it there. Franco Did often he? used to get three sausages. Is that right? So I got my love of them. So, I just so Charlie's Meats has popped up, but it's not in Palmerston North. No, Where shit. is it? Philadelphia? In Toronto. Your hometown now is, is Rose Bay. You could have said Charcoal Charlie's. <sighs> well, you win some, you lose some. Found in a basement. Cobwebs. Car. 
The cars are generally found in the garage of a house, <laughs> not in the basement, uh, not which a, is usually not a, not a small, tiny children's car. Don't or a little toy car. I saw a toy car. A car that is smaller than a regular car. <laughs> Still a car. <laughs> Fuck it. Would you call an underground garage a basement? Or no, it'd garage. be an underground garage. Underground garage a basement right? is, is, it's usually internal with indoor access that you store shit in, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, yeah it's what you're, you're storing the car. I don't know. Pit. Could have said car if you just said pet after it. Carpet. Anyway, uh, you've One, decided to go two, with car. Three, four, five, Count what six, you haven't seven, lost and adopt eight. it. Eight. Oh, I've crushed you. Ten. How? Oh, how are you so surprised every – you've beat me once oh. every time we play this. You're just – how is he just, just – because you're sending cunt cards. Yeah, and you'll be getting one after this. I, it's not appropriate, Louisa. Well, I, no, Jack, you've got to tell them how they make you feel because <laughs> it's just – I'm sick just, of you coming home from school <laughs> with the same gripe. The same gripe. And what was that? And what's, what's my gripe? You've had enough of the boys <laughs> teasing you. Going to start try kissing girls instead. Because the boys have made them cry. Sorry. What? Louisa. <laughs> uh, sweet. <laughs> All right. Jump me on that hot line, baby, with the hot line on the line. Hot line, baby, with the hot line on the line. Are you ready for some hotlines? Yes, please, you sweet fucking angel. Why the fuck do you only do Wednesdays and Fridays? <laughs> it's Monday, and I'm waiting, just waiting an extra two days for that 4 a.m. for that episode to come out. But you need another episode during the week. Like, I can't. I can't put my life on hold like this, guys. Like, what are you doing? It's true. Love you guys. Love you too. Love you. Well, this well, is a very kind is hotline just, that you want more of this. <clears throat> I don't know why, but you know what they would say in um in breakfast radio? They would say, that's a great segue because we're starting Patreon. So in, in hold on. How would you – how the fuck would you know what they do in, bre in breakfast radio? I was, I was a breakfast radio producer. <laughs> what? Yes, I. In Louisa Claire Delden. What? What the fuck? Have you fucking ever told us, mate? We're supposed to be mates. Sorry. Jesus. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so continue on with... I just didn't well, know that. That's okay. I'm happy to talk more about it. <laughs> hey, you, le you, know, you learn something new every day. You do. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a great segue because we're starting Patreon. <laughs> which... Sorry, Willie. Uh, which will be extended episodes. You still get your regular two and then there'll be extended ones. And it's two dollars fifty subscribe. two dollars fifty a week. But just know you won't be paying us, you will be paying Treon. That is what well, it's called that. You pay Treon. So uh, we don't see a leak of it, I believe. I think it all goes to Treon, the owner of the company. Is that how it works? And his wife. And what was her name? Tree off. Yeah, it's Patreon and Patreon. Yep. So you're paying Treon and Treoff. Uh, they're a lovely couple. Oh they're a lapple. No they they you know what they are? They just bring a spark to the dinner party. And they've had some good roots. I wouldn't know. Trees. Oh. Yes, and they, they love their leaves. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You just spat Standing in your chin. <laughs> well, that's physically sorry, impossible. Sorry, you spat in your in my beard. beard that is covering your lack you, of you could, chin. You could have said um, they like to up and leave. Hmm? I preferred mine. Or they're deciduous. Yep. Wouldn't have made as much sense, but you know it's still a tree-based thing. Mm. Uh, you could you could argue sometimes when you're arguing with them, they they're barking up the wrong tree. Bark, bark. Uh. Next one, Willie. <laughs> Hi, I've just been listening to your podcast and was just thinking about that <laughs> how your. <laughs> Your guy, your brains are the sizes of of a bar, of basketballs. Uh -huh. One each 
a basketball time zero point yeah. zero uh-huh. seven. <laughs> also, Lou, you need to either do the GoPro nuke or release the Mick Fanning video. Love you, Bedworths for life. Bedworths for life. Love oh. you. It is. It is the ultimate ultimatum. Now you are the get. You are the get. Sorry, you're not making me do either. Uh yeah. That's this is the world you've stepped How? into. Well, you either get a couple of high, a high uh, quality 4K high GoPros, res. high res GoPro strapped to the back of your legs, but, and, and you're going to force me to do this, are you? An aqua turd, or Mick Fanning's vid gets released. Well, I'm HR, and I'm saying nope to both. Well, guess what? You've promised the bedwetters. All right, you sweet little fake tanned angel. I'm not fake tanned. That you're going to post a little screenshot of some big funny stuff on the I need on the to do that. on the Wee Wee Bell thing. Now, when are you going to do that, aren't you? I need to do that now. Well, Senorita, seems to me there's no time like the prison. <laughs> and that would be a present to our lovely bedwetters. It would. I believe they deserve that. So if you could give them just a tickle, I can give them a little tick tick. Give them a tickle of what we're looking at. Otherwise, it's GoPro season. <laughs> and the not. bedwetters are going hunting. Okay. They're hunting content. Okay. One more, please, <laughs> Wilma. Way more than one more. Hello, you bunch of sweaty, smelly fucks. <laughs> uh, this is Ollie from Scotland. I'm in Sydney right now in my working holiday visa. I just wanted to let you know that Lou, fucking reek and judge and put some words of wisdom for you. I really just, you really got, like, I, I need you to really lock in, focus on, <laughs> focus on, keep, think, fo- <laughs> anyway, I yeah, love you guys, see you later. Oh, mate, I'll take that. I'll take that advice. I think it's tremendous advice. Off speaker phone. <laughs> Off your AirPods. Yeah. Phone to your fucking ear, Ollie. You would have made a great it. teacher. The Scottish accent made that even harder to understand. Oh, yeah, correct. With, uh, that, that little bit was for you. Cars going You did that on purpose, Wilbur. I did. The, uh, it's very cl- cruel. Me, I'll speak to you in your native tongue. I will. Uh, I promise you, I will. I'll, I'll focus on, like, what I do. Uh, like, I'll, uh, let me, uh, like, uh, Ollie, I like where your heads are. I, I don't mind if you... I wasn't like, looking at the time. No, I, it seems like you were like, checking the time there, sweetheart. Uh, Ollie, I, I like, I'll do what you... If you tell me what I've got, if I if, if, if found... Like, I'd like you to hop on got, speakerphone outside right. of the ha- a place. You've got you right. And leave. But I respect you, Ollie. I like what you've done. And I will do it. I like what you've done. I like what you've done, Ollie. I'm not going to lie to you. I you're felt, very good at I felt that. that wasn't bad. You, you, we've, we've told you a million times, you're great. All right. Quick kiss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come to me, though. Come on, no, get, no come on. you come to me this no, time. No, that's I not how it works. If kiss. I do a good accent. I came to you last time. Well, Willie, come, Willie. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, want, you, Do buddy. you want a raspberry in your tum-tum? <laughs> Come on, top up. Time for a raspberry. Imagine that fucking. Come on. You're going now. Who's been a very good accent? You're, very, you're very clever, you're aren't you? Chill. You're a little Scottish boy, I aren't just... you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking powerful shit. Willie? Lulu, Judge. I fucking love you both. But I'm sick of hearing about breakfast fucking right <laughs> We I don't know what you would allude. I don't know what you're alluding to, uh, uh, mate. I don't think I've ever mentioned that because. Why would you ever mention breakfast? No, we can't do two in one app. We can't but, do uh, two in one app. Sorry, two in one app's sorry. a lot. Listen, sweetheart, I know. But we both know. Stop. But guess what? Gives us a giggle, kid. I ain't going anywhere, kid. And guess who wants a giggle more than anyone in the world, kid? Daddy and mummy. Now, so, uh, I'd love you to clarify. So. Uh, so I'm mummy. You're mummy, by the way. And you're daddy, by the way. Daddy, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Any more, Wilbur? Yeah, I've got a couple more. Fuck yeah. Hey, cunts. Hey. Just wanted to tell tell you that I love you so much. (laughs) (laughs) And I love you guys so much. (laughs) Bye. The f- 
freak? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you calling? <laughs> Oh, oh, she sounded good. so fucking baked. Who are you calling? Can, can we can we just play her one more time, yeah. please? I want to hear the friend. The friend, kind of like the female John, almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> the friend is so fucking confused. Hey, cunt! <laughs> just want to tell, just want to tell you that I love you so much. Who are you calling right now? <laughs> and I love you guys so much. <laughs> Bye. Who are you calling right now? <laughs> it would be confusing because oh. you started with, hey, cunts. Like, I just want to, and she starts giggling. I just want to tell you, I love you, Sam. And she goes, who are you, who are you calling right oh, now? Oh, that's good. That's very funny. That's healthy stuff. Oh, and we love you, bedwetters. We do. And one lucky bedwetter next week is going to get a raspberry. <laughs> Aren't you? A little raspberry on your belly? Who wants a little raspberry on their tum tum? I know Will. I know Willipedia oh, does. I do. Don't oh. you? <laughs> now, who's been a very good producer? Post podcast, yeah. Pash. A post. Uh, we got a PPP after this, don't we, buddy? We got a PPP. All right. Thank you, Bedwitters. We love you, and you already know about Patreon. It's coming. It's coming next week, and you're ready to rock and yeah. roll for it. Correct, Amundi. Bonus content. Ten percent off merch. Early access to, to live, live shows. shows. Fucking ten dollars a month. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Two dollars fifty a week, kids. Which is a good kid, kid. You're hell of kids, and we love you. We love the lot of you. We love you guys. Mwah. Hooray, Mwah. bedwetters. Ciao, ciao. Keep pissing, bedwetters for life.